Qatar Airways seeks hundreds of millions of dollars in compensation from Airbus, while Saudi Arabia and Qatar have agreed to pause their ongoing dispute at the World Trade Organization over piracy. Calling all keen readers out there, Qatar's annual book fair is set to make its return this coming Thursday. And finally, a league match had to be stopped halfway through after a player suffered a heart attack. Keep watching for the details. Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. 618 million dollars that is the amount qatar airways wants from airbus in compensation the french airplane manufacturer sold dozens of a350 jets to qatar airways with flaws and defects the national carrier says the two companies have been locked in a dispute for the past few months with qatar airways suspending 21 out of its 53 a350s citing cracked window frames among other issues airbus claims the planes have no major faults and says they're merely minor painting issues now qatar airways is asking the high court in london to intervene in another legal dispute, Qatar has decided not to go ahead, at least for now, with a case against Saudi Arabia over the theft of sport broadcasting rights. According to sources, both countries agreed to hit pause on an ongoing case at the World Trade Organization. Qatar originally filed a complaint stating that the kingdom was allowing for the theft of its property through Saudi-linked broadcasting pirate BeOutQ. BeOutQ was set up during the blockade on Qatar and illegally broadcast all of BeIn's content across the world. Looking for something to do that doesn't involve malls or restaurants? Well, you can feed your mind. The 31st edition of the Doha International Book Fair will begin on Thursday. 430 publishers and 90 agencies from 37 countries will participate in the event. The fair will take place at the Doha Exhibition Center, which is next door to City Center Mall in West Bay. In sports, Al Wakra defender Usman Koulibaly is now in a stable condition after the Mali international suffered a heart attack on the pitch in horrifying scenes during the weekend fixture against Al Rayyan. Koulibaly collapsed shortly before the first half came to a close, with emergency personnel rushing to him almost immediately. He was taken to hospital and the match was abandoned. Qatar Stars League put out a statement and dispelled rumors that the incident had anything to do with the COVID vaccine, adding Koulibaly hadn't taken a jab for almost nine months. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co.